Hey there, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up time based triggers for new Google Sheet rows inside Pabbly Connect. So what does this mean? Time based trigger means the workflow is going to trigger every day at a particular time and fetch the newly added row from your Google Sheet and then you can send it to any other application. So this is something different guys we have already created many workflows using google sheets and we have also connected google sheets in the trigger but this is a time based trigger and it is going to capture newly added rows it is not going to capture the old rows which we have used to do in previous automations so without any further ado let me show you how you can make this happen so this is the landing page of Pavli Connect. You can find the link in the description of this page and from here you can sign up. And this is the work, uh, this is the dashboard. Okay. And from here we can create our workflow here. We can give a name to this workflow. So let me give the name as time based trigger. All right. So I have given this name and I'm clicking on create and you can see the workflow page is loading up. And here we, we have this trigger, which starts the workflow and the action, which is the automated response of the trigger. So here guys, we want that the workflow should trigger every day at a particular time. Okay. So guys, first of all, I'm going to connect my Google sheet from which I want to fetch the newly added rows every day. So this is my Google sheet application. And here uh, I'm going to select Google sheet in the trigger select it select the trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet row all right and here it will give you the webhook url and boy by following these instructions you can add the webhook url inside google sheets and fetch the response of your sheet so for that you have to open the spreadsheet in a in new incognito window if you are using multiple google accounts inside the same browser so I'm, I have many Google accounts inside the same browser opened up. So this is, this is a better option to open it here to make the proper connection from here. You have to click on extensions from add-ons, click on get add-ons and you have to install an add-on here, which is called Pabbly connect web hooks. So search for P A B B L Y, not V B B B L Y. Okay. And install this add-on here. Okay. After installing this, you have to refresh the spreadsheet like this. And after refreshing, when you click on extensions option, again, you will find this option available in the dropdown, Pabbly connect web hooks. From here, you have to open this initial setup. Here you will find two fields. The first is the web hook URL field and the trigger column field. Okay. So here in the web hook URL field, you have to paste the URL that you got from your workflow and in the trigger column, you have to mention the final data column of your spreadsheet. What does that mean? Let me show you. Uh, this is my spreadsheet here and here, whenever I'm going to add any new row, I'll start filling the data from column A, then I'll fill B, then C, and then finally I'm going to fill the D column. And as I'm going to fill the D column, that is going to trigger the workflow. So D column is the trigger column or the final data column. So guys, first of all, copy this webhook URL from here like this. And here you can see it started showing waiting for the webhooks response. Now come back to the spreadsheet opened up here, paste the webhook URL here, mention the trigger column like this, and then click on send test button to send the data of the first row that you have as the test data inside your workflow. So I'm clicking on send test. Okay. And here you can see test data sent successfully started showing up here. This means the data has been sent. Let me show you here in the workflow. Here you can see guys, we have received the data and it is showing the co trigger column name, the sheets name and everything has been captured here. You already know how we can capture the data. Now come back here and click on submit button in the initial setup and then close this window and do one thing more, which is important. Click on extensions and from Pavli connect web op option, check this send on event option as well. 
So when you check send on event, whenever you are going to add a new row, the workflow is going to trigger. Now guys, whenever you are going to add a row, suppose that you are adding a row daily, but you want that the data should be fast and should be transferred to another application at a particular time. And let's say that that time is 5 p.m. daily. Okay. So I want the workflow to execute at 5 p.m. For that to happen, guys, I'm going to use this action step. And first of all, I'm going to fetch the current date. That means the date on which the workflow is running. Okay. So to fetch the current date, search for date time formatter option. Then use the action event as current date option. Then click on connect button. And here you can select the format of the date. So I'm going to select the format as uh, this one. Or you can just select uh, uh, this one. Okay. And click on save and send test request button. Here you can see it started showing the date on which the workflow is going to trigger. Now guys click here on this plus icon and here we are going to use delay module by Pabli Connect. So what delay will do, delay is going to halt this workflow till 5 p.m. every day. Okay, this means we are uh, adding the data in our spreadsheet every day or if you're not even adding every day, the this uh, uh, date time formatter is going to retrieve the date on which the workflow is triggering okay and now we can put the date and the time here in the delay module so select delay module and select the uh, here you can see it is asking how much delay you want to put in the workflow so you, here you have to select delay until option delay until and here you can see it is asking for the time and the date in this format so here I have this date, okay, in this YYMMDD format, which I can map here. Just click here and from the last step, map the date. And here you have to put a space. Here you have to put a space and here you have to put the time on which you want to run the workflow. And you have to put the, work, uh, the time in UTC format, that is universally coordinated time format, which lags behind Indian standard time by 5 hours and 30 minutes. So guys, you can use this UTC converter attached here and you can convert your time zones time to UTC. Okay, you can search for your time zone. I am under IST. So I am going to search for Indian standard time. And here I am going to select 5 p.m. p.m and I'm going to convert it and here you can see it is showing 10.30. Okay, so 5 p.m. in UTC equals to 10.30. Here I'm going to paste it after giving a space put 10.30 and follow this format guys. So I'm going to put a colon and I'm going to put 00, 0 to put the time. Okay, now click on save and send test request button and here you can see this workflow is delayed until this date and time. So whenever this workflow is going to trigger the data, uh, the, the data will be captured here, but this workflow is going to wait until 5 p.m. to send the data in the next step in the next application. Here after this, guys, you can add even more action steps and here you can uh, select any other application where you want to send the data from Google Sheets but the data will be sent after this time only. This is called the time based trigger guys. Okay, this is how you can create time based trigger for Google Sheets and whenever you are going to add any new row, the new row only will be fetched here and will be sent to the next application. So this is how you can set up time based trigger inside Pavli Connect for Google Sheets. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.